Okay, welcome students to another video lesson. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the absolute value. So when we say absolute value, the absolute value of a number is the distance on a number line between the number and zero without any regard to its direction. If it is a distance, then the absolute value of a number is never negative. So pag sinabi natin absolute value, kukunin natin yung distance ng given number from zero. So gamit tayo ng number line. So, let's have an example. So, absolute value of negative 9. So, ibig sabihin, kukunin natin yung distance from 0 papuntang negative 9. So, from 0 to negative 9, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, the absolute value of negative 9 is 9. Tundaan natin ha, yung distance natin is never negative. Next, absolute value of 7. So again, from 0 papuntang positive 7. So bilang tayo. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the absolute value of 7 is equal to 7. Next. So without using naman yung number line. Again, ulitin natin, absolute value is the distance of the given number from 0. So, we have negative uh, absolute value of negative 11 is equal to positive 11. Next, negative of the absolute value of 2 equals siya ngayon sa negative 2. So, since yung negative nasa labas, so, kukunin lang natin absolute value ay itong nasa Loob. So, absolute value of 2 is 2 and then meron tayong negative sa labas kaya naging negative 2. Next. So, negative of the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to negative 3. So, bakit siya naging negative 3? So, kunin natin yung absolute value of negative 3 that is positive 3. Since meron tayong negative sa labas, so kaya magiging negative 3. Okay, next. We have negative of absolute value of 5. So, equal siya sa negative 5. Next naman, we have absolute of value of negative 1 plus the absolute value of 7. So, kunin muna natin yung absolute value ng dalawang number. So, absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Then, absolute value of 7 is 7. So, 1 plus 1. So, the answer is 8. Okay. Next example naman natin ay ito. List all the possible values, integers, that can replace x to make a true statement. So, for number 1, ano ano daw yung mga value ni x na ilalagay natin sa absolute sign na mag equal sa 2. So, pwede positive 2 at negative 2. So, check natin ha. So, absolute value of absolute value of 2 is equal to 2. So, absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 is equal to 2. So, tama. Next, absolute value of negative 2 is equal to 2. So, absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 2 is equal to 2, which is also correct. So, therefore, the value of x are positive 2 and negative 2. Next, example number 2, ganun din. So, we have value of x is equal to positive 5 and negative 5. Next, what are the value of x? So, the absolute value of x is less than 5. So, ano doon may mga number na less than 5? So, we have 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, those are number that is less than 5. So, since meron, tayong mga, meron din tayong negative numbers, which is mag equal din sa 1, kasi naka-absolute value, so, sasama natin. So, the answer is, x is equal to negative 4, negative 3, 
negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, next. So, what are the value of x where absolute value of x is less than or equal to 4? So, ganun lang din. So, we have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, bakit kasama si 4 kasi less than or equal? Next, absolute value of x which is less than or equal to 0. So, less than 0 is negative numbers. Pero kung ilagay natin siya sa absolute value sign, so, magiging positive siya. So, the answer is x is equal to 0. Okay. So, I hope may, may natunan na naman kayo sa ating video lesson. So, yun lang. Bye!